Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Oh, i never seen this card before. Fateful Encounter. You guys are about to meet somebody who is new. That's going to have a really, really big impact on your future. You're going to be questioning your belief system when this comes in. You're about to experience some form of life-altering person or being. Wow. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew I can't, I knew I couldn't explain how I felt, but I knew I was meant to find you. So this could be the way you felt when you met your twin, but for some of y'all, y'all have somebody new coming in here. I'm just letting you know. What else do we have? We got Aries energy coming out here. The number 28 could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be on the 28th. Somebody could be 28 years old here. Divine Feminine. Um, the Divine Feminine here, I feel like it's somebody who's very sought after in this connection here or someone here who's your Divine Masculine is like extremely attracted to you. Like this person can't help but look at you physically, emotionally, phys I, it's just crazy, crazy passion. Wow. A lot of passion. Union in sync. Wow. This energy is totally different. This energy is totally different, you guys. Let me pull some more real quick and see what this is about. So there is some distance between you and your person. So it looks like we have Aries energy. We have Capricorn energy. Somebody could be born in 1991 or the number 19 could be significant. 1111. Have y'all been seeing 1111 a lot lately? There's some form of physical distance between you and your person. So either you are separated from your twin by distance, physical distance, right? Some of y'all could be living with people who, I mean, you know, I don't, you could live at a distance from this person, like different city, different country, different state for some of y'all, or there's definitely some form of, there is a union getting ready to take place here, or somebody wants union. But I still feel a strong energy of something new rushing in towards you. There's something new coming in towards you. Some obstacles are getting ready to be removed. Somebody here is trying to, wants to close the gap in between the connection or the distance between the two of you guys. There could be some form of cultural difference between you and this person as well, too. So keep that in mind. You know, for some of y'all, it could be same sex. For some of you all, it could be like, um, you know, different culture, different religion. It's going to be different for everybody. But there's an energy of somebody wanting to push forward and break barriers with the connection and remove obstacles. Union and NSYNC is here. It says, feeling seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished, fully present with that in mind, mind, body, and spirit. So either, like I said, either you are about to meet somebody totally new while you are separated from your twin and on this journey. Because I did see self-worth at the beginning of the reading. So I feel like you guys have been in this divine feminine energy of like renewal and healing and restoration and just taking care of yourself and going through some form of an awakening and growing. And then you've got some other connection here. Or for some of you guys, this could mean union between you and your twin. Show me more. <clears throat> oh, uh, some of y'all thought you had a real twin and this was your false twin. This was your false twin. The false twin card just came out. For some of you, I could be talking to a Taurus, um, or you could be involved. A Taurus could be involved in a situation here. Uh, there were a lot of conflicts between you and your person. So listen, you. I feel like the, your twin acted like somebody they were not, okay? I feel like, you know, you guys have, just like I said, you've been healing, you've been growing, you've been learning, you're in a, you are in, if you resonate as the divine feminine, you are in this divine feminine energy where you're just in this renewal period and rebirthing and, and creating and you're, and you're healing and you reinvented yourself. A lot of you are reinventing yourself, mind, body, and spirit, whether you know it or not. You're, you've changed. But whatever you've changed, you've changed for the better because you've done some form of shadow work here. You're now aware of your strengths and your weaknesses. Because look at this. Reinvention. 69. Reinvention, if y'all can see that. Yeah. 
okay, so you, whoever you thought was your real twin, twin flame was not your real twin flame. That person was led to you in that experience and connection was, was led to you or you were led to it so you can grow and heal for this new fateful encounter. When you meet this new fateful, it could be like when you meet your real twin. So the fake twin was there to just prepare you for the real twin. Yeah, you are manifesting that. You are manifesting that. Ooh, wow, you're manifesting that. You're manifesting some Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy with this new person, or that's what you're going to have available to you. New beginnings, alignment, taking action towards your destiny, creator of your own reality through powers of manifesting. This is going to be somebody here who's going to help you grow as an individual, but also as a spiritual being. Jeez. You guys have been healing some inner childhood wounds here. Some of y'all could be going, have been going to therapy, doing some exploring your authentic self, like accepting your, your feelings and your thoughts and your emotions and realizing like who you are now is not who you used to be. You know, um, I think that's great. I feel like, let's say as a child, right, collective, you may have not grown up in the best situation when it came to family, right? Maybe you had a family member who was around you or you didn't grow up in a supportive, loving family environment or something and you had a lot of inner childhood wounds and a lot of healing to do on your own as an adult. I feel like you've done that work and you're and so you're realizing like, you know, tower moment, you're crumbling, your belief system and your found, old foundation is crumbling and now you're rebuilding into something new. This is good energy. Ooh. Past life connection and courage is here. Wow. I'm telling you, whoever this new person is, you guys, it's going to be great. Definitely could be a soulmate or a new twin flame. When you meet this person, it's like time is going to stop. It's like everything is just going to be like, it's just, you're just going to be tunnel vision focused on what's in front of you. Look at this. You guys have been doing some form of spiritual practicing. I don't know what it is you've been doing, but I'm telling you it's working. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're becoming more uh, aware of your own intuition. You're trusting it more collective. You are allowing the spirit guides, your spirit guides to, to you're, you're paying attention to signs and synchronicities. You're allowing your guides to help you. You've been meditating. You've been releasing these self-limiting beliefs. Like I said, I feel like you all went through a tower moment, which is kind of crazy because the energy that came out this morning, I posted it. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was energy of literally the tower was falling and you're rebuilding something. And then after that tower energy came out, the last card was miracles. So like, this is what you have in you because you've been doing the work. You've been doing the inner healing. You, some of you all had, you know, issues with codependency um, or just releasing self-limiting beliefs because whoever, whatever home or family environment that you grew up in, you didn't have a support system or you didn't have anybody being your cheer, cheerleader or telling you what you deserve. And now I feel like you guys are just totally focused on the future and you're now you're becoming stronger. You're, you're feeling more hopeful. You're, you feel like you're more aligned. You have a more positive outlook on life. So now you're like, like, I'm focused on the future. I'm focused on me. Now is a me time. It's me time. But here goes that gossiping energy. There's some gossiping energy around you. Now, whether or not this is surrounding the, the false twin flame connection or not, there is somebody here in a committed relationship or with somebody else. There's a third party here who is gossiping about you. <laughs> oh boy. Uh -huh. There is. Show me more of this energy, please, for the collective. Emperor, there goes the divine masculine. Aries energy. Three of pentacles. The sun, Leo energy. The two of cups. <laughs> Six of wands on the bottom of the deck. Got them. Listen, 
Listen, I love how this happens when you just pay attention and you you just spirit is like stop what you're doing and do a reading and i just love it when this happens you're about to meet somebody new you're about to meet a divine masculine who like i said you may even have children with okay they're gonna make you very happy this is two of cups sun energy happy 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 joy joy okay this is balanced this is the moment you meet and lock eyes it's like yeah we can work this is my person we're going to get married. We're going to be together. This is somebody here who's not going to work against me. They're going to be working for me. They're going to have my back. Listen. Two of Cups. Three of, three of Pentacles. The Sun card. Show me more of this Emperor's energy, please. Child, it's they just, they've been waiting on you too. Seven of Pentacles. This Emperor's been waiting on their person. I mean, this Emperor's been waiting on their person too. Seven of Pentacles is energy of somebody wanting, waiting. They put a lot of time and effort and energy into their own self, their own life. This is somebody here who knows the right investments to make. They're going to be willing to make an investment in you. They're going to be not going to take things too fast. They're, you know what I mean? Like this is somebody I feel like just that is dependable. Show me more of this Emperor energy. Show me more of this emperor's energy. I feel like when you meet this person, they may be going through something just like you. Because I see the tower card and the five of cups and then on the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. They may have experienced a tower moment in their life recently like you did. So I feel like you're going to have a lot in common. And so this person's kind of going through this point in their life waiting on somebody else just you know like you're waiting yeah this looks very similar show me more of this emperor's energy please the hermit i'm telling you this person has a lot of wisdom a lot of wisdom this this person's coming out of illusion, some form of illusion. Okay, sorry if y'all can see this. Now I'm just gonna tell you this. I do strongly, strongly feel that for like 90% of you guys, you were on a false twin twin flame journey and you have a real twin flame coming in. Now for the other 10% of you all, this could be this divine masculine, this could be a reunion between you and your and your twin, okay? Or there could be some form of gossip surrounding a connection. People were saying, oh, that twin flame journey wasn't real, that was fake, it's false. No, it's no, no, I don't think so. So it depends on what side is resonating for you. You will know that, okay? That's not for me to you know, decide for you, you, you know, okay. But either way though, this divine masculine's energy, this emperor is coming out of some form of illusion. And I really feel like that's because they're going through a tower moment in their own life, right? They, they're seeing the light. They, <clears throat> they know they're not confused anymore. They've done a lot of self-discovery. They've gone from within. They found that the, they've realized that the answers are within them. And so I feel like you as a divine feminine are, are realizing that you found your your answers come came from within too because this is how you showed up you see what i'm saying your future focus you're not looking behind you you have had have had the courage and the strength to break through these barriers and overcome this and overcome this and I feel like this person is too. Um, yeah. All right. What else do we need? I think I'm going to. Let's pull from. Okay. Hold on. Spirit is saying use this deck. All right. What else do we have for the divine feminine and divine masculine, please? Hold on, y'all. Okay. Thank you. This is the same message, all right? We have release at the bottom of the deck. 
I feel like you guys have released something. There's a hidden path that you're not aware of. Like you're going in a new direction after a brief pause, after a brief pause in a situation, after, after no action, right? You sitting with yourself, being comfortable with yourself, doing this spiritual work, this healing work. Um, you've been waiting for signs, synchronicities, and kind of, you know, just doing your own thing and being in this energy of gratitude and appreciating what you have and being grateful for every day. You've learned like that's going to be the best practice here. So you're like releasing control, releasing what no longer serves you. You're loosening your hold on certain things in the situation, or at least your anxiety, I feel like it's just getting a lot better, right? You're releasing doubt. And it looks like you're going from... Spirit is just saying, let go and jump off the cliff because we have free, free will here, which is like Aries, Aquarius energy, which is the fool, right? Don't be afraid to take a risk. Um, there are going to be some choices and some decisions. Like I said, for some of you, Spirit is just saying, don't force it. L release and let go of control. Don't force, allow all of this to, uh, and look at what's on the top of the deck allowing allow this as i was saying that allow this to take place all you have to do is do nothing you can't force anything here because if you're if you're trying to force it it says radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment so what's needed can come next so all you have to do is allow and then okay it comes in release the need to control and then free will boom make the decision to take the leap of faith and jump in you yeah. know allow okay <sighs> i kind of feel like this divine masculine is doing the same thing look at what's on the top of the deck love divine source is the idea that no person place or thing is your salvation only love itself okay i think that's a very strong message i love the reading hope you guys too hit the like button